So this is our jelly that we made out of bottled apple juice. It did turn out a little bit runny, um, but it still tastes really good. And the kids had um, fun making this with me uh, for a while anyways. And I know my toast looks a little bit weird. It's because I always put mayo on it and fry it, but um, because I like it super crunchy. But anyways, that's besides the point. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so we're matching lids to jars here. And the recipe we're following is came with the pectin, the sheer gel pectin. And the recipe is three cups of boiled or refrigerated apple juice or bottled or refrigerated apple juice, um, two tablespoons fresh lemon and five cups of sugar. And this is going to make about six cup, six cups of jelly. And so we are counting our jars to make sure this is about two cups. And so that's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we're finding another um, thingy for that one. And so that should be enough. And I'm gonna put these in some in our boiling water. All right, the stuff that we're gonna be using for this is I'm just using treetop. And so following this recipe. Um, we're gonna need lemon, two tablespoons, and I'm doubling the recipe, so hopefully I can get four tablespoons out of there. And I'm gonna be needing, how many cups of sugar? Dang, it's gonna be 10 cups of sugar. Anyways, I chew on. So I have this stock pot that I'm gonna be um, water bathing my stuff in, and I use this thing. This, this is, it's just a, um, so that your cans are not right on the bottom of your metal pan. And I really like this because you can use this, I mean I use this to make my flan inside this pan on the stove top. And um, it's really, it comes in handy. So I'm going to drop this in here, I'll put a link to that in the description. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on and start putting my empty jars in here to sanitize um, before we use, before we start filling them. Three cups of apple juice, but we're doubling our recipe. So how many cups are we going to need? Uh, six. That's right. Six cups. Okay, so here's two cups if you want to pour that in Wait, can to I the pot. The sugar in? Yes, you can pour the sugar in. Yes. We're going to need five cups of sugar for each recipe. And we're doubling that. So how many sugars is that going to be? No, I see uh, oh, I have no idea. Five times two. Yeah, sure. What's five times two? Ten. That's right. So we're gonna use ten cups of sugar. Okay. So that was two cups. We need a total of six. So refill that how many more times? Two and then six times? No. <laughs> I don't know. Two times six. Okay. And while she's refilling that juice over there, we're gonna um start putting our bottles, I mean our cans in here into our, our water. So that way it could start sanitizing it. Is good? Yes, perfect. So we'll start pouring, put that in there, and we're gonna have to refill it one more time. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm hoping these will all fit. Nice. So that's four cups. Is that good? And we're going to need a total of six cups. And we have our six cups of apple juice in here. And we're going to start measuring out our sugar. Our sugar into our juice. If you're using fruit, then you'll be adding it to your juice. And also, we don't want to... Go ahead and start pouring it. We, we always want to use the full amount of sugar in the recipe. Okay. Cup number two of sugar. Well, go in. And I was saying before, you have to make sure not to reduce your sugar. If you want to reduce your sugar, you have to use a different kind of pectin. Okay, let's continue with our sugar. Uh, instructions is stir one packet sure gel premium pectin and three quarter cups of water in a small saucepan. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so we have a cup and a half because we are doubling our recipe. And so this is going into our saucepan over here perfect and
And then we're going to stir in our two packets of pectin. We open this up and put it into our pan. Water. Like that. They're probably a good idea to make sure all of that is in there. And then again, our second packet. Ooh, it looks lumpy. Yeah. It did say that it might look lumpy. So let's stir it. Alright, so we're going to stir that and it did say that it might be lumpy, but our goal is to try to get it all smoothed in. You know what, maybe we should use a whisk. Would yeah, that be easier? yeah. Because I don't want to burn myself. Okay. Three quarter cups water in a small saucepan. Bring to a boil on high heat. Stir, stir constantly. Boil one minute, stirring constantly, and remove from heat. Is it all dissolved? I've never been this careful with a stove. <laughs> good, it's good to be careful with the stove. Okay, stir, stir, stir. Stir, stir, stop. Is it too hot for you? No. Okay. It Let gets me know me if it gets Okay. Okay, the other thing we need to do is we need to stir this until the sugar completely dissolves. So we're gonna do that. I could do it. Okay. Okay, so this is boiling. And so we have to stir it constantly and boil for one minute. So I'm setting a timer. But if you leave it like that, it's gonna start boiling, like, like bubbling. Yes. So we're stirring constantly, constantly. And we have our timer still on high heat. Okay, so that boiled for a minute at the rapid boil and so we're gonna pour this into our sugar and juice mixture over here and we're gonna stir that up. Yes, can you stir it? Oh, yes ma'am. And we're gonna keep stirring it and stirring it for at least three minutes is what it says. Okay. Okay, uh, I forgot to put a timer on. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll do two minutes because that's probably at least been one minute. So we're still stirring. Can you see, baby? Mom, I got a joke for you. Mm -hmm. What is it? Why do ducks have feathers? Why do ducks have feathers? Why? To cover their butt quack. To cover their butt quack. Very, very clever. Okay, so I think all of the sugar is dissolved. Oh, I hear some crunching right there. I'm gonna try to dip that in there. Oh, still when he comes around in Jago, uh, the, the fire ninja, he's like, when he got his elemental um, powers, he's like, fire! <laughs> I think I missed that part. Oops. I almost totally completely forgot about the lemon juice, so I have to add four tablespoons. That lemon gave me four tablespoons exactly, so I was perfect. Okay, now it says to fill the jars immediately. They're nice and sanitized in here, and I couldn't fit two of them in there, so I'm just going to probably give one to um, my neighbor and keep one for us, or we'll probably go through this in like less than a week, so like toast and stuff and bagels. So let's get these pulled out and I'll start getting them filled. Okay, so I set up my station here. I will set the camera here. And so we're gonna start filling these, I mean, pulling these out. Pull these. Pretty cool, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna drop these in just real quick because they never got a chance to sanitize. Okay. 
I had to find my this thingy because I also dropped in my lids in here. And I do have one of those metal ones that picks up all the metal ones, but I also have like I think I have a non-metallic gasket in here as well. So I gotta pull that out. Serious? Okay, there's my gasket thingy that I made. I could probably pull these out. No, I'll pull this out when, when I'm ready for it. I'm just probably gonna dump that back in there. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is start filling our jars. So these are hot. And I have my ladle. Wait, where is the ladle? Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna start filling these up. Ready for the fun part? Mm -hmm. Scoop this over here. It's gonna spill everywhere. Try to get this as close as possible. And the instructions for this is one inch, I'm sorry, half an inch headspace. Not quite there yet. got everything filled and so now I need to get the lids on these and I ended up having enough to fill a pint and a half so that was an extra three cups I don't know if I'm missing a jar I don't know how maybe this one was smaller than I thought it was oh my tools I don't know where they went anyways it's time to put the lids on these oh yeah before I put the lid on these I have to yeah, and get them wiped down because I did make a mess with all of these. I want to make sure that these seal. Just pour some in a dish. Pour some vinegar in a dish. That way I can just wipe off all these rims. Totally made a mess. These jellies all sticky. Everywhere already. Okay. This one goes with this lid. I think that's one of the most important things for creating a good seal is having the rim clean and free of particles I don't think the sticky matters so much I guess just good 
good to be cautious. Okay, so they're all rinsed off. Put the lids on. And then this one, because it has deeper grooves, see, because it has deeper grooves in the rubber of the gasket, I put it with one of these silicone things. I also have a video uh, when I made my own of these gaskets, and so they fit. Oh, great, I just got it all dirty. And so these just fit right on here, and then like that. This one, this one is nice. I'm missing a lid. And so per the directions, these are done and they will start gelling over, hopefully tomorrow they will be gelled up. These ones are going rogue. I'm gonna water bath canvies and we will see how, we will see how that goes. Okay, so that is one inch it has to be covered by one inch headspace and I am going to heat these up gradually this is the first time that I've read the directions and usually I heat the whole um, thing up when we cook it all together um, and so because the when I filled the jars the mixture wasn't hot I'm gonna gradually increase this so I'm starting out with you know kind of warmish water I let it cool off a little bit so I'm gonna try to match the temperature before I process. I'm going to try to match the temperature of the inside of the jars to the to the water on the outside before I start my 10 minutes of water bath processing. So this is um oh that's not any better for lighting. Ooh, what the heck is going on with the lighting? This is you can see the bubbles coming out of the jam so it, it seems to be working. I just took my time and let it all come up super super gradually. And so I'm going to leave it, I'm going to process these for about 10 minutes and then I will pull them out and hopefully it should work. So I went ahead and let this run just a little bit longer just as a cautionary um, measure. So this has been at a steady boil for an additional five minutes on top of the 10 minutes that it simmered and I didn't really count the time that it took in between to get up to this boil so it's been in this pot um, at a measurable simmer slash boil for about 20 minutes and so I'm going to take this uh, I'm going to turn this off and start pulling these out oh it looks like it has a lot of bubbles in there still Mm. I think that is a difference from the regular cooked stuff. Let's see if we can pull these all out. I don't know about this. I'm gonna have to eat all this jelly tonight. Maybe it'll settle down. Hopefully it'll settle down. That one still has the label. I guess I could have not been lazy and just scrubbed it off, but sometimes I just run out of time around here. Okay. Then this one. I think I should have marked. This one is already, that one already popped. So... This is probably the one. This is probably the one that I have to tighten because I have that gasket on there. Hold on a second. Okay, so I just had to tighten that by hand, but since I'm working with one hand, I needed two hands to do that. And this is the last one. I think. I'm not sure which one I heard ping already.
three glass seal. Just heard one ping. Those ones are looking a lot clearer. Those are the ones that have been sitting there. These ones still have a lot of air bubbles in it. Catch some of the pinging on my YouTube. Cool enough. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm gonna. I heard another one ping. Four, five, six, seven, that one's in. Eight, nine, that one's in. Seven. That one's in. <laughs> that one's, this one is still out. This one's in. This is the one with my. Oh, sorry about the background noise. This one is. Um, the one with my homemade gasket if you guys want to check out that video i will put a link here for you and this one looks like it's sealed also i think all of these are down except this one this last one that pinged was sounded pretty um pretty loud it was probably this one so good news this is the only one this is the the one that's holding out here. So real quick, I just wanted to show you guys that this one did end up sealing. It is sealed. And the bubbles are still in there. But once I open them, the bubbles um, do go away. We opened some already and have gone through a couple of jars already. But I think I will definitely have to remake this video because... It's actually a lot simpler than I made it look in the video. I did it wrong by following the directions. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways. Please um, don't forget to give a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching.